treatment of interest on capital when profits are inadequate in some cases what can happen is that you may be asked to charge interest on capital right whether as per the partnership deed okay or otherwise but what happens is that there is not enough profit which the firm has to distribute a part or entire interest on capital in some other cases what can also happen is that the partnership deed may provide that instead of treating this interest on capital as an appropriation it should be treated as a charge against the expenses right so in these two cases how you are going to do accounting is something which we are going to cover as a part of this video this video is provided to you by Arinjay Academy and uh, you can go and search out for lot many more accounts videos on our YouTube channel and say, stay subscribed to get more of them let's look at this problem a and B contributed rupees 1 lakh and 80,000 respectively by way of capital on which they agree to allow interest at the rate of 10% per annum they share profits and losses in the ratio of 5 is to 4 the profit for the year before interest is rupees 12,000 show the relevant account now you have not been told which account but the relevant account to distribute profits if the partnership deed is silent about the treatment of interest on capital or if the interest is a charge as per the partnership deed let's first work out some of the numbers here so if the interest is to be provided at 10,000 the interest for a will be 10 percent of 1 lakh which is 10,000 for B it is going to be 10 percent of 80,000 which is 8,000 or in other words the total interest to be paid is 18,000 the profits and losses ratio is 5 is to 4 but the total profit itself which is available before such an interest is 12,000 which is less than the amount of interest which has to be paid in such a case what we do is that the amount available for distribution which is 12,000 is distributed in the ratio of entitlement or in other words whatever is to be paid in that proportion and not in the proportion of profit sharing ratio incidentally in this case both of them also turn out to be the same right because the ratio of 10,000 to 8,000 is 5 is to 4 but if these ratios were different you have to apportion it in the ratio of entitlement right if the partnership deed is silent about the treatment of interest on capital so what you're going to do is you are going to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account right and you are going to write by net profit how much is the net profit brought down it is 12,000 this 12,000 is going to go as interest on capital to A and to B how much will be available to A A is entitled to 10,000 rupees right out of how much the total interest which is to be paid is 18,000 so in this proportion we are going to allot the amount which is available or in other words one two three four one two three actually uh, we'll have to keep this one over here right and then three here two here right so the answer that you will get over here will be triple six point six seven in the case of B similarly you will have eight thousand the entitlement out of 18,000 which is the total one into 12,000 again these three goes with this you get two here three here so this will be 16,000 divided by three or in other words five triple three point three three right the total interest will be divided here right 12,000 is the total of the PNL appropriation account 12,000 is the total of the other side there's no profit and loss which is available for distribution so we don't do anything over here let's look at the second part of it which is how do you show the relevant account if interest is a charge as per the partnership deed now what this means is that when you say that interest is a charge it means that it has to be expensed of 
in the profit and loss account itself and you don't need to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account now in profit and loss account you can have a situation where there is a profit or there is a loss in this particular case how much is the profit which is left 12,000 how much is the interest 18,000 right so there would be a loss which is going to arise and this loss will be distributed between the partners in their profit sharing ratio right let's prepare that so if I had to prepare the profit and loss account the net profit before interest would have been how much this would be 12,000 by net profit okay to interest on capital now in this case what is going to happen is a would get 10,000 B would get 8,000 right so 18,000 is the charge to the profit and loss account and therefore the loss which has to be transferred to by loss transferred to partners capital account the loss which has to be transferred to the partners capital account will go to A and B in the ratio of 5 is to 4 which is their profit sharing ratio right so A would get 5 ninth of this loss B would get 4 ninth of this loss and how would the numbers look like so here it will be double three double three point three three right and the remaining one will be six right which will be two double six six point six seven so if you notice the difference between these two is first we gave the interest to the partners in their desired entitlement and then we transfer the remaining loss in the profit sharing ratio like I told you in this case even this is in a common ratio so 10 is to 8 is 5 is to 4 but if this wasn't the case then there would have been a difference between the entitlement of the partners to the profit we hope you had a good time understanding this video you can subscribe to our channel by clicking the link over here right we'll be posting more videos for the upcoming examination Stay tuned in. In case there are any particular topic you want us to prepare, you can write back to us at arinje2009 at gmail.com and we'll try our best to accommodate such requests.